goes out to all of those across North Carolina who have suffered in the wake of the recent hurricane, especially to those families who have lost loved ones. Hundreds of local, state, and federal responders are really working hard for you. We will help you recover in any way we can. This afternoon, I spoke with Secretary Napolitano and urged her, urged her to expedite the approval of federal assistance for our affected counties that meet the criteria. We have swift water teams that have performed more than 100 rescues. Emergency responders continue to meet their call and help people all over the East. We are now using inmate labor to clean up debris on streets and roads. Highway 12 remains a tremendous top concern for this state. We are working as we speak with our federal partners to restore this critical link for the Outer Banks. We visited a shelter in Rocky Mount and met people from as far as Hyde County who had come to the shelter in the middle of the night, displaced by the storm, whose homes were uninhabitable. We saw damaged tobacco, soybeans, cotton, and corn crops, and infrastructure damages to homes and businesses that you can't imagine unless you're there to see it. We met with local responders who were distributing food and water and ice to the residents of Pamlico County. We actually visited with families who have suffered major flood damage. Leaders in North Carolina and members of the General Assembly are continuing to work with federal officials to ensure that assistance gets out as quickly as we can possibly get it there to the people who need it in North Carolina. State and federal teams have fanned out all across eastern North Carolina to assess damages to homes and to businesses. My priority and the priority of every emergency responder in the state of North Carolina is for a rapid recovery that's as seamless as possible and as fast as possible.